Come on. Oh. J.D., Kirk shouldn't mess with Dr. Green. Now, even though you're only his second best friend, for some reason, he listens to you. If Turk's mind is set on something, it can't be changed. I can't even imagine how I'd try. Oh, great. There he goes off into his fantasy world. Now I'm stuck here waiting until he snaps out of it with some weird comment. We'd have to find a whole lot of gnomes. That's helpful. Here's the problem with getting a surgical consult. I think Mr. Hoffner should be treated medically, but any surgeon is going to want to slice and dice him. You see, surgical and medical interns are kind of like two rival gangs. Not real gangs, more like those cheesy gangs you see in Broadway musicals. surgical intern I could count on. If you have some moles, I will inspect them. I'll remove tumors from your brain to your rectum. Between the two of us, there is no wall. We're a surgeon and a doc above it all. A surgeon and a doc above No problem, man. How's it going today, buddy? Pretty crappy. I just had to tell an old lady she was dying. How about you? Okay. Elliot turfed this chronic pain patient to me. I have no idea what's wrong with him, so I have to do exploratory surgery. I always wondered what exploratory surgery was like. I made the first incision. I'm going in. Why'd it have to be the colon? Removing the golden tumor. Ladies. They knew the risks. Watch out for colon darts. I did. don't lose things. Please, you lose everything. Sometimes I worry what you'll be like as a dad. Yeah, baby, go on our way back right now. Junior and I just went to pick up a pumpkin. I'm gonna have to call you back. Look, somebody left a baby here. Well, he is kind of cute. Baby's first bath. <laughs> oh, watch the head. What? Come on, that was intentional. Charge him out, son. Charge him out. We are so damn proud of you, son. My little valedictorian. <laughs> ah! Put him back together, baby. No. Oh, Mom. Dad. Son? Son? Get over here, boy! You come in, you give your father a hug! Dude, you alright? You were gone for a really long time. You're gonna be an awful father! Since there were 12 surgical residents at Sacred Heart fighting for four attending spots, Turk was ass-kissing the senior staff. Oh, damn. I left my briefcase upstairs. Excuse me a second. Turk thought he was the only one who heard that. Dr. Wynn! Dr. Wynn! I've got your brief. He was not. I had no idea that there were that many Asian instructions in this hospital. I got your back, T-Dog. Then let it begin.
Thanks for having my back. Yeah. Betrayal fire. What? Hey, buddy. Hey. Betrayal five. Oh! Doctor Wen. Oh, my briefcase. Yeah. You know, I totally saw that coming. Cox. Run, Junior. Daddy's home. Did you actually think I wouldn't find out what you did? What did I you do? Insult. I'm insulted. Uh, I know it sounds melodramatic, but in my mind, as I watched the two of them, they weren't battling for patience or insurance. They were battling for my soul. Bottom line, she needs the chip procedure with insurance or without insurance. I can insurance. taste it. It's an old story, really. Good versus bad, right versus wrong, the dark side versus the light. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Easy, Chewie. I'll teach you to respect this institution. I hope you learn from this.